Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your Mikey coming at y'all with a brand new video, man. I seen a so man. It 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 truly is unfortunate watching a lot of these rappers, artists fall down to 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 a low view counter in music, bro. Like I don't even know how to describe it. Just I guess you want I guess you can say fall off and, and and I, I think in this in this case, you know what I'm saying? I think in this case, Blueface is a victim to why if you're gonna stick with music, you should stick with music all the way rather than try and make something out of your popularity for something else. Now, as y'all may know, Blueface obviously blew up back in 2018 where he came out with the song Blueface Tatiana. Obviously ended up doing a collab with Cardi B. I mentioned ended up doing another song where it was called Bleed It, also back in 2018, I believe. Eventually did a couple remixes where it was shot of flow with uh Anna Lee. It was more remixes that he did to other songs that did very good. And I believe at some point everything was stale at some point. I would say maybe around DDG when DDG ended up coming out the woodworks, obviously. As y'all may know, Milwaukee and Calabasas came out. And obviously, eventually, I believe he ended up getting featured. It was a hit. Everybody knew it. It felt like Blueface had never left. I can't lie. At some point, it got really bad, though. I can't lie. It got really bad because I, I, after that, I didn't really see much sound from him up until that new song he did with OG. You know what I'm saying? The OG, the uh, I believe his it was OG Bobby, Bobby Billions. Yeah, his, his name was OG Bobby Billions. The, the name was outside. Well, to a degree, this song did 30 million views. You would say uh, his other songs did a lot way. You know what I'm saying? A lot more compared to what he used to do, which makes sense. Obviously, a three year. I believe, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, those those views will end up racking up. But even now, a month ago, he, not even a month ago, two months ago, he's barely even touching a million views. He's touching 1.8 million views. And I think this is, safe to say what happens when you try to do something else besides just sticking to music, right? Think about it. Right now, at this current position i believe he's been with that christian rock female for a minute now this looks like a fucking reality show my nigga this shit looks like a reality show like no no nah, no nah, like that ass though like that ass like no joke this shit looks like a reality show when you look at this you be thinking of like some kardashian shit because bro like these motherfuckers argue every single day and make up the very next day now look i can't lie I, I, I'm very, I like to be double standard, right? Because I feel like if a female does, if a guy does something to a female that is just, you know what I'm saying, fucked up, you know what I'm saying, he should get shit on for it. But if a female gets, you know what I'm, done, you know what I'm saying, get done wrong, I feel like in that case, they should give her the same energy. And I feel like in that position, they shouldn't try and make it seem like they're hating on women or quote unquote trying to be misogynist or whatever, right? So obviously throughout this time, I feel like yes, people are saying, "Oh my God, Christian Rock is hitting her, hitting him, and he's taking it." But people aren't really acknowledging like they do for a female. Let's keep it a buck. If this was a female, I think this man would have been arrested already, and I believe she has been arrested. But I feel like to the extent that the standard is for female you're not gonna suffer much consequence simply because you're a man. Now, I get it, it might not, you know what I'm saying, it might not affect the guy like it does to a female, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, like, call it for what it is. If if a female does it, it's the same as a guy does it. Simply because it doesn't hurt, or, or it doesn't affect the guy like it does to a female, I feel like it should be double standard regardless. And now, even in this position, I feel like it's gotten to the point now where it's just, it's not even like a joke. Like this is reality. Like, as I said, it felt like a reality show, but bro, this shit is fake, bro. And now, now this shit is fake. This shit is real, bro. And 
obviously y'all seen i believe yesterday or the day before christian rock leaked the sex tape right now let's keep it a buck if this was a guy leaking a sex tape the world would go crazy oh my god she doesn't want it out that's not fair what the fuck yo sue him yo 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 arrest him or but now it's a female and people aren't giving the same energy you feel what i'm saying i i, I feel like it's gotten to the point where blue face himself i feel like he's a he he's a dumb and naive person himself because this is the reason why his views got to the point where it is and why his career is to where it is i believe i believe to be honest Blueface couldn't make a comeback because in my opinion when i look at the song with og bobby billions outside i like that song i could genuinely sit there and listen to that song because i like how Blueface sounded in it you know what i'm saying so it's possible because i feel like deep down he has had it i feel like he showed his talent on that on that exact song bro but when i see the when i see him doing these type of things and and, and making this shit public and, and doing all this extra shit instead of breaking up with the female and anything's off and trying to save his fucking career for what he has left it said he does the opposite and now yes it seems like they broke off but this happens all the time as far as they're arguing they hit they, I, I see domestic violence i see i see i see it both sides i i, I see physical and mental and mental emotionally abuse from both sides you know what i'm saying i feel like this relationship should have ended a long time ago and i think everybody thinks the same but at the end of the day there are adults and adults gonna be adults but i feel like blueface could could never ever sit here and complain about the position that he now in that he's now in you know what i'm saying and complain about it that he, maybe he fell off or doesn't get that much attention no shit bro you're literally going on the internet promoting your whole fuck showing your whole reality fucking life basically abuse each other mentally emotionally whatever you want to call it even physically and you're putting it out to hundreds of thousands of people for the world to see and i feel like in this position you could never ever say oh people don't fuck with me anymore of course people don't fuck with you anymore you gave up on music i feel like you don't even give a fuck about music and that's a reality i feel like this is how a lot of these artists end their career not to put out not to put you know what i'm saying namir in that mix but to a degree namir got into a relationship and he himself said he he stopped you know what i'm saying he got comfortable and i think that's what happens when you get into relationships and you get into this media you know what i'm saying popularity and you try to take away from what you what you initially started with which is music you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of these artists that get into a relationship and focus so much on their relationship end up fucking up their careers for for eternity because they just gave up. I don't know, man. I think in this position, Blueface just Blueface has to do something, and I can't lie. If Blueface doesn't do it now, it's never. I, I think that's the way I see it. Because the last time i heard of blueface actually that i that i when i sat there like damn now nah, blueface had a hit or blueface it was to be honest that song with og bobby billions bro you know what i'm saying he sounded good on that and then i believe a year from now around that time or something i think that's when he ended up getting that chris Sean girl you know what i'm saying but i don't know i think i think a lot of these artists also do end up giving up early because they see a fall off in numbers and that's just not how it works i feel like at the end of the day if you want to if you want to try to make a comeback you can bro i mean I, I feel like anything's possible if you put your mind to it and, and if you get the right help what if you if you try to make enemies and, and you put this reality tv show as your life as your career people aren't gonna give a fuck about you anymore and your music and that's just the reality of it listen man i don't know luffy has to fix his life he has to change scenes and change his whole life altogether, man. But that's you know what I'm saying. That's gonna be the end of the video, man. I just, I just, I just feel like I had to say that. I just feel like I had to say that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this uh, again. I don't even want to repeat myself, but this double standard shit. Call it for what it is, bro. Leaking a sex tape at the end of the day is fucked. 
And I feel like people aren't really acknowledging that simply because of, he's a guy, in my opinion. He don't give a fuck, right? But it's fucked up at the end of the day. But you know what I'm saying? Again, we'll fix, fix your life, man. I'll catch y'all the next one, man. Stay safe, y'all. Yeah, city person to rock at me high. The sweaty goes to make a quiet. Spin your blood like a dryer. Then with it up like a firefighter. TP pass me the loop. I ain't busting enough. Think I'm like, you see me, you better just stop. The clock with a hundred, I'm cooling with dust. Try to run up, try him off. Send him the HA, we gon' fly him off. Don't like JT trying to rap him.